whenever you've um, had shafts uh, with new glands and bearings and stuff, there's always sometimes a reason why you may have needed them. And it amazes me how often people don't actually check all this running gear out after they've had these sort of things done. Uh, here on the sea trial, the starboard engine's running nice and true. The port engine shaft clearly isn't. I don't know if you can actually see it that well in the video, but it's really obvious to me when you're actually there, uh, which means there's obviously a misalignment or something's going on with the fact that the way that the boss has been reconnected into the shaft isn't quite right. So that's a useful one. Uh, also, watch out for the port electro eliminator, which is part of your galvanic protection circuit. Uh, of way of bonding the shaft back to the anodes. Uh, the port one wasn't actually correctly reconnected, so it's actually not touching the shaft, so it's completely pointless. So I hope you find that useful, and uh, thanks for watching. When doing surveys, having two engines is always useful to compare with. When the vessel was out of the water, I noticed that the port shaft was tighter to turn than the starboard one. Both have had new um, bearings and shaft seals. But when we were turning uh, this starboard one, as you'll see, it was fine. But the port one, as we're turning it, there is a slight uh, undulation on the shaft, just roughly where I'm pointing now, um, where it goes into the back of the boss. Now, it's probably not the boss uh, connection, but it's more likely there's a misalignment, which actually might be the whole reason why the shaft bearings and glands were replaced in the first place. And when the engine's running like this, you can actually see just about where my, my finger is now, there is a definite undulation on the shaft, which is probably, as I say, most likely caused from uh, a misalignment of the engine. So we need to investigate it.